Hello and welcome to the answer section of the exam preparation for the Java MTA. Do remember in this exam preparation for the MTA we're going to be focusing on the object oriented programming concepts. If you want to have a look at the quiz and only the quiz, the questions, then click on the quiz video in the corner or in the top of the screen. If you have already answered them then let's go through the answers. As always you should be trying to uh, aim for 10, uh, 10 out of 10. Um, if you get seven or above, then that's usually the pass marks. That would be great. If you get in six, then you need to do a little bit more revision on the concepts that we've covered in the playlist. So let's get started. Okay, so this is question one. Um, the answer to question one would be C. This is the answer. Um, so even though we have one class and um, we have a secondary class within that public class, because we have called that a static class, um, we're allowed to instantiate it from the static main method, method, so there wouldn't be an error there. On line four, we've created an object, so we instantiated an object. And then in line five, we've calling the method answer. If we look here, that method is public, so it would be called, that's fine. And it's void, so it's not looking to return everything, which uh, it hasn't, so there wouldn't be an error there. So that means it would print out, this is the answer. Okay, so linking them up now, so we have access modifiers. In this one, it's kind of uh, querying your knowledge about different packages and where they can access or what attributes um, can be accessed when you have different access modifiers. So the answer should look something like this, so the private Remember, the private means that only the classes, you can only access the classes attributes from within the class or that same class. It will reject any other access. The public, this can be accessed anywhere. So think of it, in, if it's in a different package, it will still be allowed to be accessed. And the protected one, so if you have a super class or a parent class or a base class and you have the base class's attributes set, this means that the child class will be able to access that attribute. In addition, if you have a class that's uh, two classes from within the same package, they will also be able to access the protected access modifier. So these are the answers. In this question, we're gonna be looking at constructors. So we have a class here and a class here. Um, and this is uh, creating an object of this class and it's using one value as the um, parameter to create that object. So it's kind of asking you which constructor will be used um, to create this object and then what will be outputted. So if we look at the answer, the answer is BBCD. So if we look here, we have these values here. Um, it's only got one value that's going to be inserted which means that it's going to be using this constructor, which means that these, this answer one here will be changed to a B. So when it prints it out, it will print out B, B, C, D, which is answer C. So again, this is looking at another constructor question. So it's saying if you added a constructor here and you then created a, and added the following parameters to this new object here. So if you added AAAA to this, um, what will happen when you print it out? Now the answer is a compile error. Uh, the reason why is because we have a final, um, of the, the data type in answer, in the first answer in code 11 is final, which means this cannot be changed once it is set as A. So even though the value is A, when you insert it, the computer will make a compile error because you're trying to do a change. You're gonna try and change that value that cannot be um, altered. So in this question, it's talking about constructors, but it's also talking about how the final keyword can be used in Java. Okay, in question five, we're looking a little bit about the theory of making a subclass or a child class. So we have to think about what we need to do to make a child class 
from this um, parent class or a subclass from this superclass? The answer, of course, is C. So um, what we need to do is we definitely need to make a, another class. So we can't just add extend onto this because we don't have a parent class to extend to. So it can't be the first one. We, we have to create a new class and we have to use the extend one. So it could have been B. But if we look here, there is a constructor here. And this constructor is not empty. So in the parent class or the sub super class, if you have a constructor that's not empty, there will be an error when you're trying to create a subclass from that. Because remember, it automatically initializes the parent class, the super class. And so then the constructor gets automatically initialized. So if we do not have an empty constructor, then it cannot compile. There will be an error. So the answer is we need to create an empty constructor in the superclass. We then need to create a new class. And then we need to add extensions and link it up with the parent class. So this, again, is a theory-based one. Um, it's basically asking you, what is the purpose of this keyword in the following code? And the answer is shortcut to an internal method. So usually you can either do it to a, a referring to a class property or the current class property. But in this one, we don't have any attributes or properties. Um, however, it is kind of when you call method one, it is creating a shortcut to method two. So in this one, the, the most correct answer is D. It allows us to create a shortcut to an internal method. So this is again another theory-based question. You just have to link these important keywords to the best description. So again, extends, the most important thing about extends is a keyword, and it allows us to indicate that this is a class that is um, inheriting or uh, inheriting properties or behavior from another class. Inheritance is actually the term um, of that. So when we extend characteristics or behavior from a superclass to a subclass, we call it inheritance. And encapsulate or encapsulation is when we um, restrict access um, to some of the object's components. So when we're using private or protected, we're protecting our information or the, the properties of that class from outside access. So hopefully you got that one right. This question is talking a little bit more about the basic um, OOP um, properties and attributes. So what are the um, classes, what are the subclasses properties? So again, here, if we look here, we've got the superclass or the parent class. And here, this is our child class. So the answer is D, because these are the parent properties and these are the child properties. However, because we've extended it, both of these properties can be accessed um, by the child class. So in this question, it's it's looking a little bit about constructor, but it's also looking a little bit about a st the static member. Okay, so if we look here, um, if we want to change the health of the character, which line of cone should I change? Well, it's asking you to have a look here at the constructor, and as you can see, there are no there's no health property there that's linking up. So if you wanted to change the health here, you would have to change more than one line. Um, however, if you look at line 10, we've, we've created this as a static member, so we've defined it um, when we've, we've initiated all our properties at the top. So if we wanted to change the health directly, all we would need to do is change line 10. Um, and if we change this number, it would change the health of our character. And the last question is talking more about the theory about uh, of these two important techniques in Java programming, overriding and overloading. So it's giving you two definitions, and you have to decide which one matches up with which uh, word. Um, so the answer is C. So the first one is overriding, and the second one is overloading. 
So you've now checked out all 10 questions, you have the answer to them. Um, if you've got all 10 right, that's great. If you struggled with understanding um, one of the questions, I would suggest that you look at my playlist and have a look because each of my individual videos have their own questions that goes into these concepts in a lot more depth. Okay, so thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you in my next video.